Welcome to JK Education Center and I am talking about the numerical problem related to force and motion of the body. Today I am taking one numerical problem related to the car accident, whether this accident occurs or not. Let's start. Here we have a numerical problem. A car is moving with the velocity of 54 km per hour. It means the initial velocity is given. Initial velocity can be denoted by u equal to 54 km per hour. Since we are using SI system transfer, we have to convert this into meter per second. We can convert this way. 54 km when multiplied by 1000, it comes in meter. And there is nothing in denominator. One hour we can see and multiply by 60 into 60. Now kilometer converted to meter and time converted to second. And zero zero cancel, zero zero cancel, six one the six, six nine the fifty four and three two the six, three three the nine. This is equal to thirty by two, thirty by two, two again. Let's say five three the fifty, fifteen meter per second. What well, the question? A car is moving with the velocity and the velocity a velocity of fifty four kilometer per hour. Suddenly, driver applies brake. When driver applies brake, finally it comes to rest. That's why we can say final velocity is zero. Final uh, velocity is zero. Driver applies the brake on seeing a boy crossing the road from 25 meter ahead. On seeing a boy crossing the road in front, at the distance from what? 25 meter. This distance is not the real distance this is just the distance at which the boy is crossing the road in which the boy is crossing the road that's why this distance is not covered by the uh, by the car so this is confusing matter 25 meter is not the real distance covered by the car that's why we have to ignore this distance but uh, it gives some other information also let's say this is not the distance covered by the car. That's why I'm not writing here. If its acceleration becomes minus 5 meter per second square, it means when brake is applied every second for uh, its velocity goes on decreasing and that's why acceleration becomes negative minus 5 meter per second square. Now, further what is to calculate and write down whether the accident occurs Calculate and write down whether the accident occurs or not. It means no any physical quantity is asked to find out. This is the confusion of this question. One confusion was a boy was crossing the road uh, from the distance 25 meter. Actually, this was not the distance covered by the car, and that's why this is uh, we are not considered here. And another point is whether accident occurs or not it means what? What we have to find out. Actually, we have to find out distance. And if we if we find the distance less than 25 meters, then accident doesn't occur. And if it, it is more than 25 meters, accident occurs because boy is at the distance of 25 meters when brake was applied. That's why U, B, A, three physical quantities are given. And fourth one, S, we have to find out. U, V, A, S which equation of motion contains this four symbol that we are going to use and if you remember there is one v square equal to u square plus 2as here all these symbols are present u v a s u v a s that's why i'm using this to find out s distance v is how much is the v is v v is zero zero is square u is what 15, 15 square plus 2 remains same, acceleration minus 5, that's why I am writing in bracket, uh, and this is S. This is equal to 0, 15, 15 is 225, minus plus minus 5 to the 10 S. Or if this 10 S minus 10 S is taken to left hand side, it becomes 10 S. And this is equal to 225. Now, therefore, S is equal to what? 225 divided by 10. 10 goes down. And this is equal to 22.5.
and unit of distance is meter and this is our answer what answer distance covered by the car when weight was applied is 22.5 meter but the boy was at the distance of 25 meter that's why an accident doesn't occur this way we have to argue a little what since boy is at the distance of 25 meter and a car is stopped at the distance of 22.5 meter so accident does not happen this is the method of solving this numerical problem we are using v square equal to u square plus 2as okay this must be today